Hello, Geminis. I'm going to see what the cards want to say. So last reading I did for you, I was getting that someone is pouting that you haven't really noticed it. Someone is hurt and they want to be more than just friends. Like they're, it's like they're trying to get your attention and they're pouting, but it's like you haven't really noticed that they're pouting. Like they're trying to, it's almost like they think it's obvious and they, they're trying to draw you in. They have, they're kind of just, they're pouting and they, they're stubborn and they want you to message first. They want you to reach out first. And they're hurt by something, but they're pretty much doing it to themselves. So what's the current story here? This is for Geminis. I don't know if I said Capricorn in the beginning of the video. I didn't mean to say that. I just finished Capricorn, but this is for Geminis, not Capricorns. <laughs> Love offer, willpower, strength, confidence. Loyalty, stability, vows. What is the current story? Fast moving energy. Someone might finally being start taking a more responsibility for themselves. I feel like this person blamed you for not picking up on their emotions or for what went wrong in their relationship or they just they always blamed you it was always you know your fault you did this you did that or you know they wanted something more with you but they didn't really pursue it like they sabotaged it and then they they blamed you when they're the ones that sabotaged it or they like pushed you away or ghosted you and they were emotionally unavailable with you and then they it's like they got mad when you didn't chase them down, you know, and, and I think they're finally starting to realize that they did this to themselves, that they can't blame you for their own actions. Um, I don't know if you guys have talked recently, but maybe something that you said to them or something that's been something that's because I feel like a shift here. So I feel like they're taking more responsibility now because the energy I got a couple weeks ago is they were just really just pouting and hurt by something and just wanting you to just being a big baby and wanting you to reach out to them and wanting you to pursue them. Maybe too, maybe you chase them for a really long time and they just got used to you chasing them. Like you were always, it's like a power struggle between you guys. You were always the one chasing them. You were the, always the one going for them. And the group of Geminis that I channel, you know, consistently the past year, I've been getting that you're stepping into your power more and more. Like you're really reclaiming your power. You're really um, just very charismatic right now. You're in high priestess kind of energy or high priest energy, male or female. You know, your, your energy is just mesmerizing people. And you're, you're stronger than you were before, you know, you're more, you're, your life is, is starting to, to pick up finally, you know, things are going better for you than they were before. So it's possible this person was just used to you babying them, you know, this person might almost have like parental issues, I want to say. Um, like they're, they're used to you chasing them, they're used to you being there for them, they're used to that support. And then maybe you pulled that away you know, because they were emotionally unavailable or they were hot and cold going back and forth all the time or you guys were just friends and they wanted something more but they didn't really speak up. Like they they expected you to, to take control of the relationship and make that happen. I almost feel like this is a very submissive person and I feel like you were wanting them to be more dominant in the relationship and they were wanting you to be more dominant in the relationship so no one really budged. Um, for a lot of you is, is that's kind of the energy I'm getting. And then they eventually threw a little tantrum that you weren't budging and you weren't being the dominant one when you were waiting for them to be the dominant one. And, um, for some of you though, I feel like this person had you like they, like you were chasing them. You were, you were the one that was always messaging or calling first. Like you were, you were pursuing them. And then, you know, the energy shifted and you started focusing on yourself more. You started getting tired of their little games. You started getting tired of them coming in and out of your life whenever they felt like it. And you really invested in yourself more. And now, you know, they started throwing a little tantrum that 
they don't have you on lockdown like they used to. You know, they don't have that energy from you that they used to have. Like they can't use you as a crutch anymore like they used to be able to. This could be someone that was really codependent on you, that was relying on you, and then you took that away from them and now they're they didn't see the error of their ways. They didn't realize why you left or why you put boundaries up, why you stopped. This could be a friend or family member too. You know, they, did, they didn't really realize why you stopped allowing them to do the things that they had been able to get away with for so long. Like, because your energy shifted, you became more confident, you became more mature, you started focusing on yourself more. And they didn't like that. They wanted to drag you back down to their level, you know. Um, so they kind of threw a little fit that you weren't giving them the, the same attention that you used to and you weren't chasing them like you used to. And so they started pouting and waiting for you to chase them. And... <laughs> Now they're starting to take more um, control, though, more responsibility, and they're starting to finally realize their part in the relationship and, you know, why things went wrong, you know, instead of just blaming you, like, oh, you left me, you did this, you did that. They're like, oh, wait, they left because this is why they left. Like, they left because I messed up. They left because I was always in and out. Like, they're, they're starting to finally take responsibility. I feel a couple different stories here. Like for some of you, this is like an ex or someone that you chased and they got used to you chasing them. And then, you know, things shifted and you pulled your energy away and started focusing on yourself. And then they started pouting because they didn't like that. And they tried to drag you back down to their level and you weren't having it. So they just kept pouting. And then you guys were just at a standstill and there was silence. For others, I feel like this is someone that you were friends with that wanted to be more than friends. Like they wanted this to, to go somewhere, but they didn't really communicate with you. They, they expected you to do all the work. They expected you to be the dominant one and you expected them to be the dominant one. So you guys just kind of miscommunicated and we're just kind of at a standstill. It's like you guys both knew there was something deeper there than just a friendship, but like they maybe they're just used to, it's almost like a cocky energy I get from this person. Like maybe they're kind of used to people chasing them. So they didn't like that. You weren't chasing them. Either they were used to you chasing them and you stopped chasing them and they didn't like it. Or just in general, they might've been used to people in general chasing them and you weren't like that. You were more confident than that. You stood in your power. You weren't chasing them like other people did. And they did not like that. Um, so it's like, maybe you guys were friends and they kind of expected that you would ask them out and you would make the first move and you would, you would do this and you would do that. And you were, you know, you guys were waiting for each other to do that. And then eventually they just kind of started pouting because it wasn't moving. And it's like, well, you know, they could have asked you out. Why do you have to do it? Why do, why don't they step up and do it? Why are they waiting for you to step up? Why are they so, it's like, this person is so entitled and this person is so emotionally lazy is what I feel from this person. So, you know, the stories are different, but the general energy I'm getting here is just someone was expecting it to go somewhere and they were expecting you to be the one that made it go somewhere that they're expecting you to take control. They're expecting you to chase them, you to pursue them, you to make all the plans for the relationship. And when you didn't do that, they, they kind of just retreated and threw a little pissy fit. And, you know, I don't think you even knew, I think a lot of you didn't even know what was going on. A lot of you were just kind of confused, like, okay, we've been friends and now all of a sudden you're going to retreat. You're going to isolate from me. Like, what did I do wrong? It's like, you didn't do anything wrong. You just didn't chase them. Like they expected you to. Um, so I feel, but I feel a shift finally. I feel like their guys are starting and it's 12, 12 right now. And I feel like their guides are starting to talk some common sense into them. I feel because they're wanting to come forward with a love offer and commitment and they're seeing the error of their ways. Like they're finally developing confidence and strength and willpower. And they're also realizing, I think that, I think that they isolated and they started pouting and they expected that you would, you would run after them. Some of them maybe had you in like this hot and cold, you know, cat and mouse game where they would, you know, come in, come out, come in, come out. And, you know, the, the final time that they came in and then left, you didn't chase them that time. Like all the other times before you would pursue them like, hey, what's wrong? I haven't I haven't heard from you in a couple of weeks. Like, hey, can we hang out? Like what's going on? And this time you didn't do that. And so they just kept waiting for you to do that. It's like a game that they play. Maybe they have it in their head that they have to play these games to keep someone hooked, like that they have to be kind of emotionally unavailable. And it's like maybe they think it's sexy almost like maybe they feel like those games are kind of. Like they're afraid if they open up and they're vulnerable and they t tell you you want to tell you that they really want a relationship that you're gonna, 
you know, take it for granted or that they're going to get their heart broken. So they kind of, you know, try to keep the control of the relationship. So they, they play these stupid games. Um, but, but I think they're recognizing now that they're going to lose you if they don't change something. I think that they were feeling entitled and they were in this kind of victim energy for a while. And now they're like, oh, wow, it's been weeks or months and we haven't talked. So like, that's, oh my gosh, I might actually be losing this person this time. Or like, you know, or or you set boundaries with them recently and said, you know what, we're not going to do this anymore. And they're like, oh, wow, really? Like, we're not? <laughs> like, you put them in their place. You know, you you... You were the dominant one, but not in the way that you they wanted you to be. You were dominant in the sense that you're like, I'm not doing this anymore with you. You know, there's there's something I don't know. It's going to be different for each one of you, but there's something that happened within the last couple of weeks, I feel, that made them realize that there there is a risk of actually losing you for for real this time. And for some of them, it might have been something you said or did or some kind of conversation that you had that made them realize this. For others, it's just that time's going by and they're starting to realize you're not chasing them like you used to. And so they're kind of like, like, wait, what? Like they're expecting you to cave any moment. They're waiting for you to cave. They're waiting for you to reach out and say, hey, I miss you. I haven't talked to you in a while. Can we hang out? They're used to you doing that and they're, they're, they're not getting that energy now. So some of them are starting to realize that, that if they want you, they're going to have to step up. And they're going to have to commit and be loyal and stable. And they're going to have to stop playing these stupid little games. And they're going to have to move in quick. So some of them are kind of starting to worry that they're losing you. But don't, you guys have been in a power, some of you, not all of you. Again, there's a few different stories here. It's the same energy group, but I feel like there's just, you know, different details of the story here um, for each, you know, individual person here. But, and, and, you know, the best way to get, if you want like really clear, precise details, you know, the best thing to do is get a personal reading because then I can look more in depth into who this person is, why they're acting this way, what they feel, what they're wanting. Um, whatever you want to know about the relationship, just send me an email. My email address is in the description box below. And I feel, I just feel like they're, yeah, they're like something shifting where they're starting to be more mature because they're realizing they're going to lose you. But you also want to make sure that they don't come in and just, you know, make promises that they can't keep just because they don't want to lose you. Because they're kind of panicking about timing. They're like, oh, wow, I have to, I have to do something or I'm going to lose this person. You know, like it's starting to really, um, starting to hit them more and more, I think. Like it's, it's becoming real. But I feel like a lot of you have this power struggle where you feel their energy and then you cave and you reach out to them. And you don't want to do that this time because then they take you for granted again. You know what I mean? Like you want to, if this is your story, you want to stay in your power. Um, you know what I mean? Like you, you don't want to, if they're hot and cold, like if you know who this person is and this is someone that is just kind of hot and cold, like they know how you feel, but they still just want you to do the pursuing because they're lazy when it comes to relationships and they want, they like the attention. Like don't give into that energy, you know? Like don't, when you feel them pulling at you, don't cave. That's their spirit trying to pull you back in, but you don't cave. They need to reach out physically if they want to keep you. But they are wanting to come in fast. There might be a hidden truth that's blocking some of them and keeping them tied up. Hmm. This is interesting energy. We got hidden truth and we have trapped, blocked, tied up. We have beauty, mystery, enchantment. It's almost like a fear of vulnerability. Like they have something to tell you or like they want to confess their feelings or something, but it's like they're blocking themselves from doing it. There's a truth that they want to reveal. For some of them, it's an actual secret. Like they might actually have something that they need to tell you. And they they have too much pride to admit it because it's going to require a great deal a great level of honesty and vulnerability. For others, the truth is just how they feel about you. Yeah, take it if they keep running back and forth, and take it slow and pull them in, and keep the ball in your court. But they need to work for it more. If this is someone that just keeps doing what they want, they need to they need to work for it more. You know. 
some of you might want to lay your cards on the table too. If this is, if you've been dragged in this energy again and again for months or years, like some of you might want to just say, Hey, like, I do feel for you. Like I do. Cause this person likes to sabotage them. Like not you, but this other person likes to sabotage themselves and, you know, like feel, they feel rejected over every little thing. And so you might want to be like, Hey, like I do actually love you. Like I really do feel this way about you. I can't do this to myself forever though. Like we need to, or what are we doing? You know? Like, don't let them, I don't know, they're just, they're sucking you into a certain type of energy and you need to kind of pull yourself out of that and not get trapped in that cycle with them. Some of you or them might maybe have a, um, some kind of addiction or codependency that's affecting your finances or it's affecting their finances. Um, it could be soul contracts that need to be broken that are repeating so you can get to your happiness. Any final messages about this? And again, like I said, you know, my email address is below if you want a private reading. That's, you know, the best way to get the, the clearest, most accurate details if you want me to really go in depth into your situation. Yeah, it's like they're shy and they're afraid of rejection, but they're... And they're nostalgic and they're longing for you, but they have too much pride to admit that, you know, but they're starting to realize that they messed up finally because they're being forced to realize that, you know what I mean? Like in the past, they could blame you because you were always there. Like you, you were still, you know what I mean? Like you were, it was still consistent, but now that they actually feel the risk of losing you, it's like they're forced to really, um, take accountability for themselves and recognize their role in this connection. And, you know, recognize why you might be distant or why you're not reaching out like you used to like they're starting to actually have to think about those things because they realize that they can't come back in and say oh you did this and this and this because you're just going to ignore them so they're they're being forced to kind of look take a good hard look in the mirror and you know own what they've done so that's good they're they're still shy and afraid of rejection i feel like it's like the see like part of the secret is like that they feel nostalgic that they long for you that they miss you that they love you but they don't they have too much pride to admit that but they also don't want to lose you because they feel like you're pulling away you know they feel like they don't have you as much as they used to um and the pouting didn't work so it's like they're resorting to different things you know what i mean like a couple weeks ago they were resorting to pouting and they were thinking that you know if they pout long enough and they throw a little tantrum that you're going to chase them and you didn't so now they're realizing, oh, crap, like, I'm going to have to be the one that steps up if I want to get this person back. Like, they're realizing that you're not getting sucked into their energy anymore. You're not dealing with the pouting. You're not going to deal with them not knowing what they want. You're not going to deal with them coming in and out whenever it suits them. You're not going to deal with them self-sabotaging this connection. You're not going to deal with them, you know, saying they just want to be friends, but then, you know, their, their behavior and the way they look at you says otherwise. You're not going to deal with any of that anymore. And now that you're not dealing with that, they're forced to find another alternative to get you back. You know what I mean? Because they can't, they can't drag you back into that energy. And that frustrates them because they're used to you getting dragged, you know, sucked back down into that energy with them and going on this merry-go-round with them. And you've gotten off the merry-go-round. So now they're trying to figure out what to do because they don't want to lose you. And they know that they can't come in with the same crap as before and say, you know, like, let's hang out, but let's just be friends or, you know, you did this or you did that or like, I don't know what I want right now, but I miss you. Let's hang out. Like, you're not dealing with any of that anymore. You're not dealing with any of that. And they know that. And so they know that if they come in, they have to come in strong and they have to be loyal and true. And so they're kind of like just at a standstill right now because they're like, they're, they have so much pride and they're like, oh, crap. <laughs> You know, they're, the truth is, though, they, they're nostalgic. They're longing for you. They're missing you. But you need to be strong, though. You don't want to get sucked back into that energy ever again. Like, you've gotten off the merry-go-round, so make sure whatever you do, do not get back on that merry-go-round because they're going to try to deceive you. They're going to try to find loopholes. They're going to try to find some way to pull you back in without actually, like, you know, committing fully or, or they're going to make you chase some kind of energy where it's like... It's such a weird energy. Because it's like they wanted to be with you, I feel. But it's like they have commitment issues and like they wanted you to chase them maybe. Like for those of you that were just friends, it's almost like 
they wanted to be with you, but they almost wanted you to chase them. Like they wanted, they want to be with you, but they want the attention and the energy of you chasing them, if that makes sense. So there, it's almost like there's like a fear of commitment, but they actually do love you and want to be with you. Does that make any sense? So it's almost like if you guys were friends and they were looking at you and acting like they wanted more, but they wouldn't fully um, admit it. And it's like they're wanting to be with you, but they're not like willing to cave and give in and just be with you. For some of them, I feel like they sabotage themselves and they are afraid that once they give in, they're going to get their heart broken. Some of them have a sort of victim mentality. So it's like they wanted to commit and be with you, but they feel like like they're kind of set in their ways and they feel like they have to keep you chasing them because if they stop and they give in and they just give you their heart, they feel like you're, pr it's probably going to get broken. Like, you know, they're probably going to get hurt. It's probably not going to work out relationship. They're just very negative when it comes to relationships. So they kept you in this power struggle where you had to keep chasing them and that kind of kept you on the hook. You know what I mean? So they could have you and they felt secure like they had you and they weren't losing you, but they didn't ever actually commit. You know what I mean? Like they, they, it's like they just have these negative beliefs. Like they think once they commit, it's going to change or it's not going to work out or you're, they're going to get hurt or something. So they want, they love you, but they're wanting you to chase them and they want to be babied basically. But I feel like I mean it's just it's such a difficult situation cuz it's like you have to be strong and assertive with them but you also like they also have this fear of rejection and like this shyness so at the same time they also need to know that they are loved and wanted but it's like they need to know that they can't do this to you forever anymore like you know what hey if you want to take this risk let's do it. Let's, let's be together. Like I'm scared too. You know what I mean? I'm scared of getting hurt too, but I, I can't do the merry-go-round anymore. I can't go back and forth anymore. This doesn't work for me. I want a real relationship. I want a commitment, whether it's with you or someone else, like I'm ready for that commitment and like, but let them know that you love them too. Like let them know how you feel. And this is just when that conversation comes up. And again, this is only for some of you. Some of you don't want to have that conversation. Some of you do. You need to use your own intuition above all else. Trust your own intuition above mine. And, but this is, I don't feel like you should message them though. I mean, I don't, maybe some of you should, I don't know. I'm getting, cause I'm just getting that they're trying to find loopholes to pull you back into that merry-go-round where it's like, and now that, now that you're not doing that and you're standing in your power and you're pulling back, they're kind of realizing that they're going to have to take accountability and actually commit if they want to keep you. And that scares them. And so they're trying to find like a loophole. Like, can I say, can I maybe just play on their emotions and say, oh, I miss you so much, but I'm not ready for commitment, but you know, I'll be ready soon in a few months. Would that work? Like they're trying to find like a loophole so that they can drag you back in without giving you a full on commitment. So when this conversation comes in, like when, you know, when you guys do talk, I almost feel like you just really need to keep standing in your power and like they need to know how you feel, but they also need to know that they can't do this. You know, it's a really tough, it's a tough balance. It's a tough balance and you don't want to miscommunicate either, especially with, um, Mercury retrograde and shadow phase right now. They just self-sabotage. It's like, they like to be chased. They like to, they like to run. They like to be, feel wanted. They like the attention. They like to, you know, like they feel like if they commit, it's just not going to, they're going to get hurt or it's not going to go well for them. Like they don't really trust it. You know what I mean? And so it's like, you got to get off that. You got off the merry-go-round off with them, but you have to stay off the merry-go-round, you know? But, um, but yeah, it's a tricky situation. So, you know, tread carefully. And, you know, if you want me to look more in depth into this, like I said, my email is below and if it resonates, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.